Good evening, everyone, and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 40th World, where we do soap operas reviews. The soap opera we're going to be reviewing today, which aired on July 7th, um, Thursday, 2016, at 1.30 Eastern Standard Time, my time zone, was The Bold and the Beautiful. As a summary, they give us a frazzled Katie arrives at Liam's door asking for assistance. Then we have Wyatt interrupts Thomas and Steffi's conversation about Liam and seizes the opportunity to sway things his way. Okay, the first part of the um, scene goes into Steffi, Thomas, Wyatt are cleaning up after their 4th of July spread, their celebration. Everybody's gone home pretty much except for them. Then we have Allison is babysitting Baby Will. And Bill shows back up at his house looking for Katie, thinking she went home, but she didn't. Just have Allison there, and Bill pretty much trying to question her on whether or not she's seen her, has she called to check on Will, what's going on. But Allison's like, no call, no show, don't know where she is, okay? So he's just, you know, playing with um, Will at home, waiting for Katie to show up, but she never do. So he pretty much goes out in search of her once again, okay? Because he's called himself word about her as well as Bull. But, um... We go to Liam. Liam is trying to calm down Katie because Katie is over there with him. Um, it's not working pretty well, but he's having a hard time trying to keep the secret from her. But Katie is emotion emotionally going off, you know, the deep end pretty much. So Liam will not tell her some. Then we have Thomas and Steffi, and they are talking about Liam not showing up. Stephanie says, uh, to the fact, excuse me guys, I'm taping at 2.14 in the morning because I really wanted to get this out to you all. So please excuse me if you have yawning going on. I got off work late. Okay. Then, um, you know, Stephanie Thomas, Thomas still trying to give Stephanie hope that she shouldn't give up on Liam, even though Wyatt seems to be doing what he's supposed to be doing and very well accepting of the situation as it is. But, you know, Thomas needs to sit himself down, okay, and worry about his own issues. Okay, then we go to Bill. Bill shows up at Brooke's house looking for Katie. He can't find her and he's worried. And, of course, Brooke is acting like she's so startled that he's there wondering if Katie shows up, which Katie's nowhere on their radar. At this time, because she's basically trying to get herself together. She's over at Liam. Okay. But Brooke is pretty much telling Bill, why are you here? Why are you here? You know we're in trouble. And yes, I'm going to have to tell my sister myself. And Bill's like, no, we can tell her together. Because, you know, I, I still want to be with you. Do, do, do. He's such a dummy. But anyway, he still holds that love. He's pining for Brooke. He's willing to... Lose his company again because he already had the same issue with Katie back in the day. Same scenario, Brooke and Ball. She taking his company, wanting to take Will. She eventually gets his company. Treats um Bill like a stepchild, and we see that didn't work. Oh, here we go again though. Then we go back to where uh, because Brooke pretty much said no, she's gonna handle her sister on her own. She don't need his help. She need to go somewhere and sit down. And no, they're not gonna continue what little affair they are having. They finna doubt uh, doubt some water on the flame that's out there burning for the both of them. She's gonna put water on it and just douse it out all together. Okay. We leave that situation. We go to Liam. Liam is trying to get Katie to drink some water. Katie's like, uh, uh I need some, I need some alcohol. I need some vodka, man. Okay. She's pleading with Liam to tell her the truth about whether or not Bill and her sister Brooke are cheating behind her back. Of course, we know Liam knows the school. We go to commercial. We come back. We're still, we're at Thomas. Thomas is still trying to convince Stephanie to leave Wyatt. 
and to pretty much go after Liam. Wyatt feels he's interrupting something uh, between Stephanie and Thomas' conversation because they stop talking once he gets in there. So I'm like, yeah, you pretty much did, but you know what's going on. We go from that situation, we go to Bill. Bill is still convincing Brooke to have a life with him. They both need to just tell Katie it ain't working and just let the cookies fall where they may. But Brooke said, uh uh, I ain't gonna do that to my sister. I already been running her crazy, but both of us have been doing that, making her feel like she's losing her mind when pretty much we're the ones losing our minds. Okay. Liam calls Brooke to come over to his place. Um, and that stops everything between her and Bill because now she knows where her sister is. She tells Bill. Bill was like, okay, let's go together. Brooke shits all that shit down to uh-uh. You stay here. It's between me and my sister. I'm going to handle it. She may like me. She may forgive me. She may forgive you. I don't know what the uh, outcome is going to be, but I am going to go over Liam's house and we're going to straighten out this mess. Her and I, not you. Okay. Um, Brooke is telling Bill also she's going to tell Katie the truth meaning everything that has been happening between them. Go to commercial combat Bill is still trying to tell Brooke to be with him. Brooke says she's ending things between the two of them Brooke is telling Bill she needs to tell Katie alone about them. We need that situation we go to Wyatt while still trying to get them to tell what they were talking about but he finally realized that they were talking about Liam and Stephanie and all that kind of stuff. We leave that situation we go to Liam. Liam comes back to check on Katie and she is still losing it mentally. She feels she's been betrayed or well, she's doing the betraying. Uh, but oh no, Katie, you are so, you know, you, you're not, you are the same one. Your sister and your husband are the creeps, okay? The jerks of the day. We go from there. Brooke has finally come over to see Katie over Liam's house. But she goes over with Liam how and what her sister's feeling so she can kind of gauge her behaviorism, her mannerism, and all that. And Liam tells Brooke, You got to tell Katie the truth. That woman, way off the radar scale, she needs her medication. She needs to know that at least you care about her. And that Bill was the aggressive one in the relationship. And, you know, always just pulling you in instead of him just ending it with Katie. And, you know, letting the chips fall where they may. He didn't do that. So pretty much he was telling Brooke to put the blame mostly like 99.9% .9 on his dad. And she just take the fall for a little bit of it. It's pretty much what he was saying. But she can't come out unscathed herself. She got to, you know, have a little uh, scar on her as well. Then we have Katie finally come out after Liam has left the building or left them alone talking to themselves. Um, Katie finally comes out and finds uh, Brooke in the living room. She's wondering why she's there. Was she waiting on her long and then all that kind of stuff. Then Katie's wondering, well, wait a minute now, why are you here and where is Liam? So we go to commercial, we come back, we have Thomas, Wyatt, Steffi are all sitting around their little beach house, meaning Steffi and Wyatt, and they're talking about Liam and him respecting their marriage and this, that, and the other, but, you know, honey, a tsunami, a tsunami is finna come your way, honey. Oh, a tsunami is finna come your way, Wyatt, so I hope you got your little uh, safety gear and a paddle with a inflatable boat because you, you, your ship finna sink, okay? And your so-called wife is gonna jump ship. Oh, yes, yeah, she is because that's the kind of person she is. Selfish. Okay. We leave that situation. We go to Liam. Liam shows up at his dad's house and Bill is trying to make Liam feel bad. Liam ain't hearing it. He said Katie needed to know. She should have known long before this time. And, you know, all of it has to come out. So suck it up, Dad. It's pretty much what he said. Okay, we have Katie and Brooke. They're talking alone at Liam's house about Bill and her insecurities. She also tells Brooke she took a drink, you know, that wasn't like her. But just all this, you know, this animosity she's having, all this unsecureness 
insecureness. It's all these bad feelings she don't want to have. And she wants it to be where she's at fault, meaning uh, she's wrong about what she's feeling and can't shake. But in essence, Katie, no, you're right on point. Your sister just need to tell you the truth so you can validate, be validated of your feelings and acknowledge them that you were on point. Your sixth sense was going strong and you just have a cheating uh, husband and a no good sister who's a cheater as well. Okay. Then we have Katie telling Brooke, she, you know, expressing that she is very insecure. She feels like she's going to come unhinged. Um, she just feels everything just crashing on her like a, a, a violent weather storm. And she can't get out of it. And it's just drowning her, taking her to the depths of the uh, sea floor, if you get my drill. She asked Brooke to tell her just one more time. She just got to hear one more time and she'll leave it alone. She'll leave it alone. She'll leave it alone. Uh, is her and book, uh, her and Bill fooling around or not? Brooke turns her head away like she can't face her sister. But you know, Kate is going all this, doing all this drama behind her back. You know, expressing so heartfelt that she just need to know if she just gonna pretty much have a heart attack right there on the floor and fall out on the floor, I should say. And Brooke turns around and motions to Katie that you know. Basically, Brooke tells Katie she is sorry, you know, so Katie knows right then and there the truth is out, the truth done hit the fan, and at least this is what the viewers are assuming, or me as myself as the viewer is, she's already admitted to it now, tomorrow I'm waiting on, or really today, waiting on one thirty to come, so I can see, you know, the play-by-play -play on that, and hopefully they'll show it to us so they can get on over, over this storyline. So Katie can go into her mean, vengeful way of trying to take the company from Bill and all this nonsense and, of course, trying to get sold custody, which, you know, Katie, come on, let's let's pull up now, honey. Let's pull up. You can't make a man want you. You, you just can't. You know, just take your losses and, and go move out of state or something. Hell, move out of the country if you must. Get yourself together. Then come back a very strong and, um, fulfilled type woman, you know, maybe the writers can write you into, a, you know, another scene with your, a husband or something, but hell, maybe you and them can get something going on, you know, that would be a trip, I would love to see that, um, collaboration, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what it was, Brooke just went on and said she was sorry, and, um, hopefully it'll be like fireworks tomorrow, because they don't need to let us go into another week without not knowing was Brooke actually saying sorry that she, you know, feel this way but nothing's going on. Or sorry that yes, I was sleeping with your husband. We, yes, we have had emotional, uh, physical contact but not sexual where, you know, he penetrated me or anything like that. You know what I'm saying, guys? So, I'm really waiting to see this episode. Okay, but anyway, I'm sleepy, I'm tired, I'm going to go to bed after I edit this and put this into upload mode so you guys can have it later on this uh, night if you're still up or early we in the morning or tomorrow, um, you're getting your day started or lunch break or, you know, however you want to view my video at the time. But blessings to you all, and y'all have a blessed day, blessed evening, blessed night, whenever you're taking a part of this video. Alright guys, take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.